Today is Monday, October 3rd, and it has occurred to me the drop in the stock market for September has created a, um, instilled an insight into the behavior of the market and the trading dynamic uh, changes and evolves as, as the time progresses. And, and looking into what is the possible reasons why. What are the reasons why intrigued me? Uh, and I thought to myself, the reason why the, um, some, of, some of the uh, natural laws uh, are, are interesting predictors of the behavior of the stock markets um, uh, so um, there is there I, I can't I can't put my uh, finger on this but there is a um, there is a there is a natural law that says after a steep move it it has a certain probability of returning to a certain value um, Fibonacci it's called a Fibonacci uh, a retracement and so that is based on the the natural law a mathematical law of 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 the market and what i've noticed is happening in the um uh in in september is the fact that uh it, it seemed to be similar to what um snowboards snowbirds do um so in September, uh, the, the Fed, uh, knowing that the inflation will cause uh, havoc in the economic uh, U.S. Ec economy, and what that mean what that means is that there will be uh, inflation, so much inflation, so much so that it would separate between the haves and the haves nots, and that causes most likely uh, crime to rise crime rises because you have these individuals who have not who have no place to go or live or eat and the only the the factor of certain percentage of individuals in in our society have the propensity propensity to acquire things uh, even if it means crossing the border of legality and the federal government and knows this because they probably plugged in all the numbers and supercomputers and figured out ran some simulations based on what the what the inflation numbers will do to society because if i'm sitting in a church and there's roughly about five percent of the individuals who are wreaking benefits from it and most of us who are 95 percent who are leveraged up to uh, leveraged up in credit card bet debts and the credit card uh because of inflation the the same thing that was purchased a few weeks ago is double the price that would anyway so that means that the reason why it seems to be the stock market is going down uh, for September is the migration of vast amount of res financial resources exiting from exiting from technology and some of the some of the some of the stocks most of the stocks that are that are uh, traded in the Dow Jones and into uh, into bonds and uh, savings where interest rates and things uh, of those nature will become more prominent such as uh, natural resources so that reminds me of the shifting of the weather patterns within within the united states where when winter hits you have individuals and natural uh, nature uh, the animals will move south to avoid the harsh reality of winter but for somebody like me who loves four seasons love it don't mind it uh, and those are the individuals like myself who are in the stock still <laughs> holding on to it and those are the individuals who are probably most likely suffering the effects of the downtrend in the stock market which means that the behavioral patterns of just looking at the uh, the individuals who are who are influencing the movements of the stocks are behemoth uh, institutions, institutional holders, 
uh, who see the patterns and they make adjustments on a periodic, periodic basis far longer than days or minutes or, or such, but it takes them months, months for them to shift out of the, the access that they have into more safer, uh, safer uh, locations to, to, uh, to, to increase their capital. And based on uh, some of the, and if I were to look at these individuals who are holding stocks, uh, some of these stocks are owned by 50 or 60 percent of institutions. And some of these institutions uh, represent the individuals who work 95, who put money into the 401k. And these 401ks, based on the performance of the market, shift, reallocate the resources to, to balance it out. And that has an impact, direct impact on what the, what the stock market would do. And so when these behemoth of, of, of sectors and, and um, institutions exit and enter in certain areas, there is a dynamic shift in, 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 in the value of the stocks. Therefore, um, and the whole point is the stocks behave like nature and the nature it happens for a while it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight it doesn't it doesn't happen just one night and just settles onto a certain value it happens on a periodic basis where it takes days and weeks and months to unfold that's where the inefficiency is and that inefficiency can be tapped into in order to generate capital uh, gains and so uh, and I've it's 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 fortunate for me to to it I just made one video on this trend thing but it is it is truly uh, in order to make money in the market I have to utilize a thing called trend because snowbirds will go south it's it's a sure thing the birds the migratory goose geese the ones that have full flight capability will fly down south to avoid the harsh winters uh, winters and there will be stragglers but that is the nature and the reality of the market it is a trend stock market is based on the trend that is the core and the foundation of that's why when a uh, it's called a bull market it's a trend when it's a bear market it's a trend when it moves sideways it's a trend too it's it's trending sideways it's in a it's it's it is encased in a sideways movement and therefore um, it's 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 amazing how nature is 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 unfolding before my eyes to create a uh, create a uh, create a, uh, a vision of the market that I can I can see and relate to and how it unfolds and as long as I'm within the trend trend I can make money in any type of uh, any type of uh, market 